My name is Michelle Wood and I'm an illustrator for I Lay My Switches Down. And I paint and crochet, I do a little bit of everything and create children's books. When I was thinking about that question, how faith finds its expression in my work, it's through the gospel, the expression, the imagery. It's from the gospel and a lot of symbolisms that I use are a reflection of the gospel because um, in the New Testament, when they talk about the Holy Spirit descending like a dove, I use the dove to represent the Holy Spirit or the Trinity. It also talks about in the likeness of God, in the image of God. So the images to me are in the images of God. And this is about American slavery. And I try to give each one dignity versus depicting them very sorrowful or um, depressed. Or I want to give them more dignity because it was taken away from them. And who said they didn't have dignity? So um, that is in the likeness of God. So the expression is the expression of the gospel. Looking at the suffering and the sacredness of Christ and, and in the context of that particular painting, um, it, he's a healer. And in that particular painting and, and, and what it's talking about, there is a bomb in Gilead. And Gilead meaning the heel of testimony. She is giving her testimony and testifying to uh, Christ being, I mean, the, by his wounds we are healed. You know, she's keeping her mind on Jesus and doing her suffering and her hard times and her wilderness. And he's behind her. And he's, you know, the light of God is shining on her. And just imagine if we keep our mind on Jesus, how no matter what our suffering, what our infirmities, because he died on the cross for those for that infirmity, the sins, the transgressions, everything. If we keep our, keep our mind on Him, we can go through anything. We can walk through anything. And we can take our minds anywhere in the midst of our storm. And she was in the midst of her storm, although she's politely knitting or crocheting or quilting, but she's in the midst of her storm. And in the painting itself, it has a dove at the bottom where I always put as far as reference to the Holy Spirit, because where there is Jesus, there is the Holy Spirit. There is every, you know, it's the Trinity that's there and representing peace because He gave us peace. I don't think about the form; it just it it just lends itself to to each other. I mean, once you have the idea, it's the, it's a point of stepping out in faith and believing it and committing to it. Um, the vision or the idea or however way it comes to you and then it sort of works itself out. I was um, thinking about why I feel so much space with the different shapes and you know you analyze yourself and I was like well my mother plays a part of this because every inch of her house is covered. She cannot leave space in her house and if you, you know, move the wrong way, you bump something over. And beautiful little glass trinkets and vases and flowers. And it's not that it wasn't beautiful, but every little space. I said, you know, I think this, this kind of consciousness has transferred over to me. And I, I deal with it within the context of my paintings because every space is a field. And using the geometric shapes, and using the patterns and, and the patterns that I use are from American quilts and then also connecting them to Africa connecting them you can look at Turkey every uh, Israel the shapes are the same except the meaning behind it is different a triangle three sides is three sides I don't know how you have a way you can add that up it's still the same it's still a triangle but whatever culture there is a meaning or and I uh, it's a different meaning behind it. I made sure that I researched the meaning behind it because it can get, you know, people can misinterpret it. But I, I use those shapes to build because in the colors of it, it's more than, it's a repetitive pattern. And I do things in threes. Threes meaning because of Trinity and because of, it repeats and becomes a balance. I like balance. 
So I don't like the eye to stray. And if I do allow it to stray, it's because of a purpose. I want to take you there in a direction. But mainly I like a balance to it. With, with Basket, I knew I wanted to do red, white, and blue. I knew that I'm representing the fabric of America, that this is American history, not African American, but I say American history. Um, and I wanted to do red, white, and blue, but then I had the people in the houses. And so each one is doing something different to create a movement. But I kept switching it, and then I would switch the blanket, the, the quilt that's in the middle of it, the different colors. And the shapes and it was driving me crazy because I had yellow in there first I had a lot of yellow and I said this isn't working and and greens at the in the little houses and so I had to go back and balance it out because the eye was just all over the place you know and I said I want to do red white and blue and stuck with that and then of course adding the brown and uh, the green that's in there so um, but sometimes it works just like that I, that one did. <laughs> that one particularly did. But sometimes it does work, you know, where everything just falls in place. I wish that happened more often. Don't be all. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's the beauty of the process. Because the process is where the blessing is. The process is the blessing because you're this trial and error. You've already activated your faith and that connection with God, the Creator, and we're the creative being, we're the vessel. So if you've activated that 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 faith and that process, you're you're on this journey, you know, and you're just discovering and there's like little nuggets along the way and you're trying to you you know if you can tune out everything in the world, that's when you focus the most on where things flow. And when you have those interruptions, they don't flow as well. So, it, and I've had a few interruptions, so that's why it didn't flow as well, especially on that one. But I worked and worked and worked, and I think it came out pretty good. I, I really, I, I really am pleased with it. Really am pleased it's beautiful. With it. Well, uh, I guess to wrap things up, tell us what's next for you. What's what you're working on right now? Right now, I'm working on a series of paintings, and where I just have finished a book, but I want to work on a series of paintings that is on baptism, and then I'm doing revelations, and um, I want to get them out and do a show with it. 